This video will demonstrate calcium concentration quantification in milk using the atomic absorption spectroscopy technique. Here is the equipment you will need. Let's begin with the sample. Weigh 1.0 gram of milk into a 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Perform in triplicates. For the sample blank, Weigh 1.0 gram of DD water instead. Do this only once. Inside the fume hood, add 5.0 milliliters of concentrated nitric acid and 1.0 milliliter of 30% hydrogen peroxide to each sample and sample blank. Please note that the fumes created by the reaction will be very toxic. Set up the hot plate in the fume hood and heat the flasks at medium heat. Swirl occasionally. Your solution should change from cloudy to dark orange brown to clear pale, while your blank should stay clear. If your solution is still orange brown after 20 minutes, add an extra 2.5 milliliters of nitric acid and 0.5 milliliter of 30% H2O2 and continue to heat. It is possible to obtain a clear yellow solution if you put an excess amount of nitric acid but it does not affect the result. After heating, transfer the samples and blank separately into 100 milliliter volumetric flasks. Rinse each Erlenmeyer flask with DD water and add it to the volumetric flask makeup to volume. Invert a few times to mix. Next, pipette 1.0 milliliter of each sample or blank to corresponding 10 milliliter volumetric flasks. Add the appropriate volume of 2.5% lithium oxide solution to each flask to obtain a 0.5% final concentration and make up to volume with DD water. Invert a few times to mix. During the wait time in the sample preparation steps, you can begin preparing your standards. First, dilute the 0.05 milliequivalent calcium chloride standard solution by pipetting an appropriate amount of the solution into a 100 milliliter volumetric flask labeled 100 micrograms of calcium per milliliter. Add DD water to volume. Invert a few times to mix. Then label the 25 milliliter volumetric flasks with concentrations 0, 0.5, 1.0 and 2.0 micrograms of calcium per milliliter. Pipette the required amount of the 100 microgram calcium per milliliter solution into each of the 25 milliliter volumetric flasks. Then pipette the required amount of 2.5% lanthanum oxide solution to obtain 0.5% lanthanum oxide in the standards. Make up to volume with DD water and invert to mix. All samples and standards will be measured using the atomic absorption spectrophotometer. Bring your samples and standards together with DD water to the instrument. Your TA will briefly show you how to ignite the flame. You must assemble the sample slot, ensuring that it is screwed on tightly. Otherwise, you will observe leaks when DD water is being fed into the instrument. Turn on power switch of the instrument. Then turn on the acetylene gas tank. Next, turn on the airflow. Adjust the airflow and fuel to the appropriate level. Turn the control to air while lighting the flame with the lighter. Turn the fuel to on position. You should observe a nice blue flame about 2 inches tall. Please note that it is important to follow the proper order to ignite the flame or you will create a lot of ashes but fail to ignite the flame. Now the instrument is ready. Place the sample feeding tube in DD water first until there is a constant violet blue color. Pay attention if there is any leak around the sample slot. Zero the spectrophotometer by pressing the AZ button while feeding DD water. You should start with the standard with the lowest concentration. Dip the feeding tube into the standard solution. The flame should turn green. Record the reading and dip the tube back in the DD water to rinse. Continue with all standards, then the sample blank, and finally your samples. When completed, Flush the sample slot with DD water. Your TA will turn off the instrument for you. Discard your samples, sample blank, and standards into containers labeled lanthanum oxide wastes.